Emotions are heating up at the super volcano Camp Ifligree. Guys, the volcano is coming to the surface and then they're paving him again. And then the volcano is saying, nope, I'm coming again. I'm melting the shit that you're putting on top of me. Do you remember, guys? I have reported about this about a month ago. A road in Pozzoli. Pozzoli, you know the name. That's where we have all the recent earthquakes, most of the earthquakes of this massive caldera super volcano. And we have fumaroles. These are the hot steam vents with volcanic gases, and they're breaking through the road. I showed you the picture, the Via Antiana. They just had resurfaced the road, and then they said, ah, nah, that, that, that sinkhole there this was just by mistake this was man-made and nothing to see here but smoke was coming out of it and you could really see the smell so they repaired it tried to okay nothing bad and now it's there again and now you can see the road is melting guys and a newspaper has reported about it and then oh my god have they gotten a shit show from the italians that emotions were cooking high are you crazy you can't report about this this will hurt the tourism this is tourism stupid article blah 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 yada 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 so what is going on guys another big hole has opened in via antiniana in Pozzoli on the recently renovated paved road and not only there you see there is a hillside going up and it smells like sulfur everywhere and you can also see the steam coming out and what the locals are saying is we all know that this road is going right through the volcano there's smoke there's smell and there's sulfur everywhere guys this is critical and i tell you why because have you seen my last videos about Campi Flegri? They're crucial. You really have to see them because now also the official entities, the president of the INGV basically has told everyone in a press conference how worried he is about a potential eruption. And he stopped talking about, oh, it's only the earthquake risk. And other scientists have given dire warning as well about the potential of a phreatic eruption and we have seen connections to past eruptions that started with a phreatic eruption and then the magma was coming i'll put both videos in the end screen guys really this is a must see because this is new that the ingv speaks out so openly about the fear that they have of that super volcano so now let's Look at the holes in the pavement. And after all that has happened, by the way, I have fed an AI algorithm with all the data that we have so far about Campi Flegre. So take this with a grain of salt. But the calculations resulted in a 60% chance that something could happen at Campi Flegre this year. That just on a side note. No hole in the asphalt of the Campi Flegrei road, the Fumarole burned through the newly paved road. And that in light of that massive earthquake swarm that the region has just experienced with the biggest earthquake that Campi Flegrei has experienced since the Monte Nuovo eruption, since that crater was formed. And on the day when that hole was formed, that was happening on July 9th. We just learned about this right now. They also had at least 20 to 25 earthquakes on that day. And now on the same day, that new hole appears and you really see that the road is melting. Hot gases are coming out from a fumarole. They forced a, their way to the surface and they have melted the tar. The, if a volcano wants to come to the surface, it just comes. You can't do anything about this. And this road is a new, has been there for a while. So that this is happening all of a sudden, huh, should we be concerned about this? 
So the Via Antiniana, as the locals say, that goes through the volcano lies in the southeastern outer area of the Solfatara. That's what you see here, this sand dune-like crater that has all these fumaroles together with the Pischirelli area, densely populated, Pozzoli, people are living on the volcano. Most of the active fumaroles of the Campi Flegri are located there, and this is the most likely site of a potential eruption. And since the road was recently repaired just a month ago, um, this means something that we see that again, and they are one after the other, like pearls on a string. That's what many locals are saying. So is it moving? Is the fumarole or is something hot moving underneath the asphalt? Or do we have a bigger hot area that is slowly melting the asphalt and then these bubble holes form and they sink in? That's the big, big question. So this is repeatedly now that this is happening. So is this one fumarole, that's the big question, that is moving underground along a line of a weak zone? Or is the entire slope of the Solfatara moving over a stable fumarole as a result of ground deformation? that is happening in that area. We have the Brady Sizem. The land is rising. And Giuseppe Di Natale has been fighting the authorities. He works for the INGV in a leading position. He said since 2018, this land rise, this Brady Sizem is not normal like the authorities and the INGV is trying to sell to the public. It only occurs before and after eruptions. I have reported about this. What they also don't know is how old is this fumarole that is causing these problems? Has this been there for a while or has it recently formed? Did they know about this when they built the road? Were they just like, yeah, we just pave it, no problem. We'll just clog it. But what it definitely is, it's, it's the volcano telling us, well, hold my beer. And it's kind of dangerous, I have to say that. Because really, this could be a sign that something bigger is brewing here. And that's not the only sign. There's so many signs. Every new study I've reported about this, check out my Campi Flegri playlist. Please, guys, if you're interested in that, all the knowledge is there. But check out both videos here in the end screen. They're linked with each other. So if you watch one in the next end screen, you'll see the other one. Really watch them both. What is obvious and what the authorities are also now admitting it is really quite obvious that a major natural disaster will happen at the Campi Flegre supervolcano sooner or later, maybe sooner than we think, if we look at the recent studies. All, all these phenomena, increased values, land rise, earthquakes, hotter temperatures, extreme gas emissions, all that will result in a volcanic eruption that will be preceded by strong earthquakes and also very strong ground deformation, but also maybe not because there's also evidence that it could happen without a warning if it's a phreatic eruption, especially. It could just come. If the magma comes, maybe, but the phreatic eruption in the past Poof, it just came without a warning and, and then it already made the pipe for the magma to come. All this seems to become more brittle and more fragile. So since this is quite a slow, we could see more landslides. There have been several landslides already during earthquake swarms, especially. So when will the big catastrophe happen? That is the elephant in the room will they have time to prepare as they all hope with their evacuation plans and routes and everything um or will they not have time will it take years we don't know but everything points towards rather sooner than a lot later since 2005 this brady seism how they call it this crisis this volcanic crisis has been going on 
and it's so much longer than the previous crises. The earthquake swarms are becoming more. The earthquakes in the swarms are becoming stronger. 4.6, the strongest ever recorded since the last eruption. Large quantities of magmatic volcanic gases are being released. Extremely, an extreme increase. Ground uplift, we're at a, at a meter 50 right now. One and a half steps, you have to walk. That's a lot of ground uplift. Port of Pozzuoli's running dry. Ferries can't land there anymore, it's too shallow. In the last bulletin, the INGV told us the monthly uplift rate is at 1.5 centimeters right now, probably that's an inch. Um, it has been accelerated during earthquake swarms, but it's still continuously rising. And we're seeing these earthquakes basically every day. Here's the list of the recent earthquakes. These are only the ones above magnitude one. There's way more. Tension continues to build up with all these measurable phenomena. So guys, I'll keep you updated. Watch the videos in the end screen, please. You will not regret it. If you want to support the channel, buy me a coffee. Link is in the description. I will answer your message there with a 30 second video message or and or become a supporting channel member. Click the join button here or the link in the description and you'll see behind the scene videos, private stuff from me. Thank you for your super. Thanks for everyone who's supporting the channel. You're absolutely great. Thank you so much for watching, for your lovely comments, for this great community, guys. Stay safe. I see you very soon. He click here. Then I see you super soon right now. Bye bye.